Hello everyone. In this video, I will be briefing you about how to create a managerial report using the given case problem on lines. Looking at Excel sheet and numbers and different types of graphs that are given in the document, don't get confused. It is a very easy task to address. Simply follow my video till end and uh, try to address all the questions that are given related to the managerial report. Okay, these eight questions should be addressed in a format of managerial report. All right, so let me start explaining the case. So considering the case, it is observed that uh, a survey was conducted and um, certain details related to the wine and wine purchase data is collected. Okay, so uh, um, ultimate question is, uh, here is like as the score like rating of the score and rating of the wine increases the purchase possibility of purchasing the wine will increase that should be addressed uh, whether it increases or not that is that will be addressed in this uh, case problem so just follow the template that is given use this template to answer your uh, create your managerial report as it is a managerial report we, are, we don't answer it in question and answer kind of thing though questions were given we are supposed to give a nice heading related to the question and we are supposed to uh, provide interpretation of whatever the solution you achieved okay so start uh, writing introduction to the given case study what is the case and what kind of information that is provided you can read it from here and from this data it is possible to understand what is the case and what is the purpose of this uh, case problem analysis okay so give nice introduction related to it don't copy paste anything from this data try to read understand and write a nice introduction okay so in this uh, task what we do is like we will be applying linear regression method linear regression to solve the question so uh, solution is already prepared by me you need not to create any solution just you make some modifications to the excel sheet okay so anyhow so we use linear regression model so you can write about uh, application of linear regression model so in the introduction you, you are supposed to give uh, maybe like application of uh, linear regression models to understand data and develop prediction models okay so this is uh, actually we apply linear regression in this model and we try to predict uh, different values by using the linear regression equation so i want a theoretical information related to how good it is to apply a linear regression model and to make better decisions and to understand data in a better way okay so that should be discussed here next give introduction to the case maybe you can give these two things in 100 100 odd words that's fine okay so next question is so considering the data that is given we are supposed to identify uh, what are the numbers like uh, frequency of occurrences of uh, different types of uh, wine categories okay so for that i have prepared solution so this is data so this is serial number and this is wine name the price of the wine and the score related to the wine and rating related to the wine okay so now using this what we have to do is see the develop a table that shows number of wines that were classified as classic outstanding very good so based on the rating based on the rating we are supposed to identify how many number of wines are available so using pivot chart i have created it so these are the values count this is the count related to it i have created count and average price so as it was asked to create both a number of wines that were classified as classified and we should also give the average price so for the first question the answer is very clear we have created the total count what is the count related to it and uh, we also gave a price a calculated average price related to it this is the table for the solution okay so now what we can do is you can take this and uh, you can sort data you can sort data maybe like you can uh, write it in ascending order of count or ascending or descending order of count and otherwise ascending or descending order of price otherwise you can take 
it as it is okay so this is the actual table okay now if uh, if we try to arrange it in uh, sort order you can see that if you take by rating this you can see that um, seven classic is seven seven like that you can see based on the alphabetical order this was given like that otherwise you can sort So for suppose if you want to sort based on the count number of purchases select the count data and um, try to click on sort smallest to largest it will ask for expand selection just click on selection expand then you will get this kind of selection. you can see that not recommended is zero medicore is one classic seven like this okay In, among these ratings classic is the ultimate rating okay so you are supposed to uh, so then again you can uh, maybe you can uh, sort it based on the average price also so just select average smallest to largest and select expand selection click sort you can see that classic is largest value okay so based on this data just copy this data onto the table so don't forget to give a proper side reading to the question so you should give proper side reading to related to that copy paste the table you can name this rating of wine or wine count average price of the wine you can give your own headings to this table anyhow so we have data here and we sorted it according to the average price then what kind of questions it asked here does there appear to be any relationship between price of the wine and wine spectator rating okay you can see that this is the rating of uh, wine spectator rating and this is average price if you cross check so as the spectator rating is increasing the average price of wine is also increasing so it's a straight it clearly mentions says that as the quality rating of uh, wine wine is increasing the average price related to it is increasing and you can give some additional data related to that okay so when the quality increase definitely quality increasing and uh, cost increasing price increasing related to that you can give some good explanation also you can write your own content okay are there any aspects of initial summary that stands out okay you are supposed to identify uh, somewhere it got any differences or not okay so you can write some additional points you can say that um, when you cross check the counter a very good is uh, sold more when compared to outstanding and classic though these two are higher costly and they are very qualitative still most of the people are going for outstanding a very good rating of the bottle then uh, outstanding is the second highest uh, purchased bottle okay so purchased wine so these two related to these two things you can make some important points okay so this is uh, some additional points that you can write related to that you can see you can say some like though the bottle is classic it got very less uh, count because when the price is very high the total purchase value will be ready maybe purchase count will reduce so in that way you can explain okay so these are some outstanding points that you can write related to the given case the second question is you are supposed to create a You are supposed to create a scatter diagram and um, you are supposed to uh, interpret the relationship between price and the score price related to the price and the score whatever the score they get related to that you are supposed to create a linear diagram so if you go to excel sheet and the solution to you can see the wine versus uh, price rating okay now uh, we are supposed to create a relationship between price and the score these two are uh, be, between these two we try to create some kind of relationship a scatter diagram so we can just simply insert a scatter diagram to generate that okay so this is scatter diagram that we generate okay so this is what we generated here so same is generated and copied into the second one and uh, you can cross check that there is a positive relationship because you, we also plot the trend line trend line clearly shows that wine rating and the price of the wine is having a positive relationship as the 
wine rating increases you just copy paste this scatter diagram and we can modify it okay double click on that double click on the graph and you can take some different type of graph based on your interest you can take any graph from here and just change this name okay maybe score wine score you can write your own value like you can uh, extend like the relationship between wine and the price rating it, it is very important that we show a unique diagram and unique heading is given to the graph okay so the question is wine score wine score versus wine price relationship okay so you can in this way you can modify the you are supposed to modify the graph heading okay and i'm copying and pasting it so what is the relationship that we identified a positive relationship so from the graph from the name the graph is a scatter plot scatter plot and uh, related to what relationship wine score and wine price so give proper heading and write your interpretation here so from the trend whatever the trend that is observed for the data we can clearly see that wine price and the score is increasing okay so now also you can add some data related to that um, and you can explain that as the score as the price increases the possibility of getting uh, quality wine or uh, highly rated uh, highly scored wine is possible so that basic introduction should be given and interpretation to the graph should be given okay so that is how we write it maybe hardly 50 words is enough to complete this task write in your own words okay and don't forget to give proper heading to question 2 next one is uh, using linear regression develop a develop and linear regression equation that can be used to predict the score given so create a nice heading for this one then uh, go to excel sheet in the excel sheet third question third question is this is the linear regression equation score is equal to 86.16 so this is the linear regression equation okay so now uh, you just give basic explanation like after creating after uh, generating uh, linear regression uh, linear regression model for given data the following equation result in that way you just give basic introduction and mention this mention this uh, equation here sometimes what we can do is we can give abbreviate them here like s is equal to p and uh, sorry this is second order this is the first order one. first we have to copy this one this is for third solution sorry i missed it okay don't use this use this one third solution what is that this is the value okay so give basic introduction now this we can what we can do is we can abbreviate them s is equal to 0 0.7 fee where es is score p is price like that also you can write okay so you can abbreviate and write anyhow so this is the equation we have and using this week equation we are supposed to predict some value okay so we can predict like this okay when the value is 5 the score is like this okay and you can establish some relationship between them also next one is uh, using the second order model develop uh, estimated regression that can be used to predict the price of so here also we are supposed to create what we do is second order model polito so what we have done is um, we pre prepared like this um, first we have price rate we also created price square okay price square value this is second order value using these two when we create a model the possibility of getting higher accurate rate so when we use the high second order third order fourth order models what happens is the possibility of getting better prediction will increase okay so that is main main thing if you cross check r square here it is 0 0.40 that is accuracy r square explains about accuracy so the r square here is 0 0.40 here it is 0 0.52 so as the order increased 
the accuracy also increases. So that is first just, just for your understanding. So this is the equation. So I'll give a nice introduction and try to give your equation here. Okay, you are supposed to write one two one two lines of uh, introduction. Then uh, you are supposed to mention the equation and uh, you can change this. Okay, you can change these values. Price. You can give P A anything whatever it is. You try to abbreviate it. Bus. Now compare the results of linear model and fitting a second order models. Now the scenario comes into existence. Okay, so fifth solution. We are supposed to compare the results of both uh, linear regression model and the second order linear regression model results. So now when we cross check the R square value, it is 40% means it just generates 40% accuracy and uh, R square here is 52% accuracy. So these are very low values, very low values to up use the model for real prediction because 50% accuracy means it possibility of uh, uh, happening is very low 50-50% so which we cannot use it. Okay. So when compared when actually the R square value is identified and 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 uh, try to apply the model for prediction purpose, it is highly possible to generate high accurate value, okay, which can be really applied for prediction purpose. The value should be R square value should be greater than 0 0.9, at least 90% accuracy should be there, okay. It should be when the R, R square value is 0 0.9 or more, then we usually accept the model. It also depends like if you have 10% error is acceptable in that in that uh, context uh, we can use it. However, like when we have higher the R square value, the possibility of using the model will be high. So considering these values, we can say that both the models we are having very less value to get uh, use it for uh, real time uh, predictions. However, as when compared to the linear regression model, second order model is having higher R square value the possibility of using second order model will be high. So this is the interpretation. Very simple. The total value depends on standard error and uh, R square value uh, as like basically the standard error should be very less and R square value should be high to get accepted. Okay. So uh, from the context, uh, we can clearly see that the second order model is having higher R square value and lower standard error. So lower uh, as they have better values compared to linear regression model it will be selected okay it's very simple thing so next uh, the sixth question we are supposed to write a logarithmic model will be created second order logarithmic model so same data is used and um, the logarithmic model is created here due to second order model that was created in the earlier step we have created this uh, logarithmic model, logarithmic uh, linear regression model. So when we compare this equation, we have got a equation. You are supposed to mention. You just copy both the things and uh, insert here. So just uh, mention a few lines related to the logarithmic model and insert model here. Okay, in if formatted. Okay, now when we compare R square value that we have achieved for uh, question 6, like the uh, logarithmic model, it is 0 0.57. It is uh, when compared with the second order model, the, the R square value is high. So, definitely, when the R square value is high, the error value, the standard error value also will be identified lower when compared to that. So, based on that, what we can say? So, the second. Uh, the logarithmic model, whatever we have developed, it is, it is generating better values when compared to a linear model and the second order linear model. Okay, so we say that uh, this this have higher predictivity value when we uh, when we apply when we try to predict using logarithmic model, it is having possibility of uh, predicting high accurate value. Okay, means when you give price price of the wine bottle, the possibility of uh, predicting accurate score that wine bottle will get is highly possible okay so next after that based on your analysis what would you say spending more on bottle provide a better wine 
it is a straight from the um, analysis after identifying the equation you can see that this equation is having positive relationship okay so there is no negatives though this there, there is a negative relation in the second order model which is a minute one 0 0.00011 means which which is a mi very minute one you can neglect that and if you take logarithmic model then also it has having positive signs between each values so the simple thing is that whenever you give some x value, value related to the x the possibility of generating better score is higher so, so simply let us uh, try to apply and understand how it happens so for example you take 5 to 30 we are taken 5 to 30 values of price and if you cross check the score value the score value is increasing okay so this is very clear so we say that as the price increases score also increases so the answer is uh, simply yes beyond your analysis would you say the spending more for a bottle of wine will be providing a better wine yes it is obviously it is generating the same price so we simply address that as a as we try to put a lot of money like more money into the purchase the possibility of getting a bottle wine bottle with a good score and higher classification rating is possible so now a simple question so same like for this also the same explanation suppose you want to spend maximum of dollar 30 of bottle of wine in this case will spending closer to your upper limit of price result in a better wine how much is the lower price so here we need to address the quality of getting a better better uh, wine is possible or what that that uh, that should be addressed okay so here we see when we are nearing to 30 we are able to get 95.56 rate 95.96 rating 90 average rating um, for 95 is definitely outstanding wine we can get so as the price we are average price we are increasing so increasing to 30 maybe 30 30 dollars we are getting outstanding wine the rating is the rating is more than 90 so which is a very very uh, good rating and the for that rating 90 rating we definitely get outstanding wine outstanding or very good wine so simply by using this table we can say that we get very good wine because of uh, 30 dollars so that will be interpreted here as the price increases as the money increases from 5 to 30 first uh, we get uh, medicore wine good wine then medicore wine then we head towards best wine that is very good wine all right so simply as the price increases the possibility of getting better wine also increases so this is all about the eight questions you simply try your write your recommendations write a recommendation that uh, when like what you recommend to the person who want to purchase the buy purchase the wine okay want to buy when when they want to buy a wine what you can suggest okay so as most of the people you can you are supposed to uh, address based on the what kind of wine most of the people are purchasing and uh, based on what rating each bottle is having based on that you try to recommend them so you try to recommend maybe spending a better price maybe around 30 or 40 people will get very good wine if they want to go for a premium wine they can definitely they have to spend at least 230 dollars so in that way you can give your own recommendations that's okay any recommendation is accepted now conclusion conclusion what you understood from the data so from the data it is understood that as the price increases the wine score rating also increase the classification best classification is also possible for the user to get okay that is the conclusion out of uh, this uh, analysis okay write uh, 50 words for each section recommendations and conclusion then you can close it you can you are supposed to give the reference reference uh, any linear regression textbook can be given as a reference okay try to find some linear regression related to textbook and give that reference only one reference is enough this is all about the case you try to give best guys all the best